Hello, I'm Bruce Shaney, and today in Homemade Science, we're trying a demonstration that was requested by Ms. Charlotte Osborne in her physics class. Now, they're studying fluid dynamics, and like the previous videos that I made on the Coanda effect, uh, but wanted to know if I've ever been able to get two objects to float in an airstream at once. Uh, they've been trying themselves and haven't been successful, and wanted to know if I could give it a go. Now, I thought I'd start this off with two plastic golf balls. Get this first one airborne. That looks okay. That looks fairly stable. Let's add a second one. To be considered successful, the object has to be in the air for at least 15 seconds. As we might expect, adding that second ball created enough turbulence that it simply didn't work. Now I think I'm going to switch over to the shop vac. Maybe that will give us better results. I made a simple brace to hold the end of the hose stationary. And I'm going to pack these straws into the end of it to try and make the airflow a little bit more streamlined, more like a laminar flow. Alright, let's try this bowl. Well, I did get two objects to uh, levitate in that airstream, but I don't think that's what they wanted. So let's go on and try something else. Let's try this ball. I would say that was successful. Now let's go back and try it with the compressed air nozzle. Now this airstream is narrower, so I think my first object has to be smaller. The idea is that there'll be less turbulence as the air passes over the object and the airstream can reform. Okay, first I'm going to try this glass marble. Generally, I find that objects that are spinning in the airstream seem to be more stable. In testing different materials, I found some of them levitate better in a vertical airstream, while others seem to do better on an angle. Next up, a plastic pool ball. Now in this case we're going to depend on the Coanda effect just going over the top of this carrot. So this is going to be the first thing in the airstream. Followed by the 
Well, as you can see, it is possible to levitate two objects as long as you can get that first one stable. Now let's try one more. Here's a lollipop. I'll get this spinning and then I'll add a beach ball to it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, I want to thank you for watching, and come back and see me again. Okay, bye.